Well, good afternoon, everybody. So I bring my poster, so Joni has a scroll. I mean, <laughs> it, it, she's killing me. Um, but my poster is a quote from none other than our uh, climate czar, John Kennedy, who's over in Dubai. Kerry. John Kerry, excuse me. Well, John Kerry, that scroll really got me. John Kerry says no coal plants shall be permitted anywhere in the world. He's in Dubai telling everybody that he himself and this administration will shut down and no longer permit, which there's no coal-fired power plants being built anyway, but won't be permitted, uh, but they will be shut down by 2030. There's no plan to replace. These are empty promises that he's taking to the world community in the name of being the climate czar for our great country. And uh, even nuclear, which could replace some baseload base uh, desires uh, across this country, power, power needs, can't get permitted, isn't being moved, and there's no new nuclear plants uh, online at this point. Point. So if you say to yourself, who does this really affect? It affects a heck of a lot of our states. So my state of West Virginia, no surprise here, 90% of our electric generation, power generation, is from coal. Missouri, 74%. Kentucky, 73%. Wyoming, 73%. Utah, 61%. Indiana, 57%. Nebraska, 49%. Montana, 43%. Colorado, 41%. Basically what the administration is saying, that in, five and a, in six years, over half of the energy production that, are, that you have in your state for power generation will be stopped under this administration's policies and Clean Power Plan 2.0. This is unrealistic. It's unachievable. And it makes absolutely no sense at all. Much like their EV uh, car mandate. Nobody here is against electric vehicles, none of us. But you know what? We put $7.5 billion into the IIJA to make sure that we had electric charging stations to meet the mandate of the new EVs. In two years, how much of that money has been spent? Zero. How many electric chargers have been put all across our country? None. These are empty promises, unachievable goals. So I would say to you that while they hope, and John Kerry is hoping that this occurs and is trying to lead the, the world into believing it will occur, hope is not a strategy, Mr. Kerry.